Are you moving to North Carolina and looking for information on how to navigate the DMV? This video provides a detailed process for you to follow to get your new driver's license, license plate, and vehicle title. North Carolina doesn't make this easy, so you'll want to pay close attention. I'm Allison Wernerowski with Bray Realty, and one of our specialties is working with buyers relocating to the area. This is one of the top questions we get as buyers get close to moving into their new homes. But first, please follow us on the many social media platforms for more information on the area. Let's jump right in. You will want to perform the following steps within the first 60 days of establishing residency, meaning signing a lease, moving into a house, etc. And the DMV has created a great page on their website to provide an overview of the process. Check the description below for links. The first step is to get your insurance set up for coverage in North Carolina because you'll have to show proof of insurance to get your license and tags. If your current insurance company does not operate in North Carolina, you'll want to find a new company and set up a new policy. Make sure you obtain the minimum coverages for bodily injury and property damages per the NCDMV's website. The insurance companies will know what to provide, but you will need to show the insurance policy that has the effective dates, the North Carolina certificate or insurance showing the vehicle year, make, model, and VIN number, and the DL-123 insurance form that is provided by the insurance company. Obtain hard copies of these as the DMV will need to scan those documents. Consult with your existing insurance company or policy to determine the right time to cancel your out-of-state policy to avoid any lapse in coverage. You will want to wait to switch your coverage to your North Carolina policy until you get close to your driver's license appointment, even if that appointment is well into the future. The next step is to obtain your North Carolina driver's license at a DMV license office. This is a different office from where you'll get your tags and your title. More on that in a bit. While you are able to try to walk in to be seen, it is highly recommended to make an appointment and they can be made up to 90 days in advance. Try as early as you can, even before you get to North Carolina. DMV licensing offices are very busy in the more urban areas. So if you're having trouble finding an appointment at your closest office, try offices a little bit further out. Note that when booking online, you will want to select new driver's license as the category for transfers. Make sure you bring the following documents your out-of-state license or another document proving your identity and age, such as a valid passport or a birth certificate, your social security card or another document that validates your social security number, like a W-2, a document providing your North Carolina residency, such as a housing lease or contract or a utility bill, and the previously mentioned insurance document showing your proof of insurance. You'll want hard copies of all of these documents as the DMV will scan them. If you were born outside of the United States, you will also need to provide proof that you are legally authorized to be here, such as citizenship or your permanent residence card. After your documents are scanned, you'll take a vision and basic science test. If you have a valid driver's license and clean driving record, the DMV will waive the knowledge and road test. The NCDMV's website has detailed information on what you should study. Once you pass the test, the NCDMV will take your picture and you'll pay your license, which is around $44. The DMV will print your temporary driver's license while you wait for your permanent license to arrive in the mail. If you have a teenage driver under 18, North Carolina has three different levels of driver's license, with the first being a limited learner's permit that can be obtained when you're at least 15 years old after taking an approved driver's education course and passing a written test. This allows you to drive with a parent. When you're 16, you're eligible for a limited provisional license, which requires at least one year of having the limited learner's permit, no traffic violations, and to pass a road test with a DMV examiner. This license allows you to drive unsupervised, but limits hours and your passengers. After six full months of the limited license, you are then eligible for a full provisional license, as long as you haven't incurred any traffic violations. I would suggest contacting the NCDMV to determine which of these categories your teen driver falls into based on their experience in their previous state. The last step is to obtain your tag and your title, and unfortunately this requires you to go to a different office than where you attained your driver's license. These offices are called NCDMV license plate agencies, and there are quite a few of them around. These agencies do not take appointments, but are generally not too crowded as long as you avoid lunchtime hours. Don't try to do this before getting your license, as you'll need to bring your temporary driver's license. You'll also need your vehicle's current title or your existing vehicle registration card if you're still paying off a loan, and the same proof of insurance documents that you provided to get your license. The title application form, and if your vehicle is less than 10 years old, the odometer disclosure form can be filled out at the office. You'll need to notarize the title forms, and there is a notary on site for a fee of $5. 
Note that the vehicle inspections are not required when registering an out-of-state vehicle, but they will be required annually when renewing your vehicle's registration. Expect to pay $56 for the title, somewhere between $38 and $54 for the registration fee depending on which county you live in, and a one-time highway use tax of 3% of the vehicle's value that is capped at $250. If you own an electric vehicle, you'll pay an extra $140 in lieu of the gas tax others will pay in their annual fees. Yes, it's a lot of fees, so prepare for the cost. These fees can be paid by credit or debit card, but you will need to bring $5 per vehicle in cash to pay for the notary. So plan to bring the small amount of cash. Some locations are a little bit less or a little bit more, so bring some extra $1 bills. Your title application will be mailed away for you or your bank to receive later in the mail, and you'll receive your license plate while at the office. North Carolina only requires a single license plate on the rear of the vehicle. Also, if you want a customized license plate, this is where you'd place your order. Make sure you return your old plate for your previous state's instructions and cancel your out-of-state insurance policy. Congratulations, you're done. Now, unfortunately, you aren't done paying as you will receive a property tax bill in the mail a couple months later from the county tax office to pay for the current year's property tax. The amount varies per city and county that you reside in. Every year, you will receive a renewal notice in the mail to renew your registration and pay your property taxes. This is where the vehicle inspection comes in, as you're required to have your vehicle inspected annually, and it must occur within 90 days of when your registration is due to expire. You are not able to renew your registration without the vehicle inspection, but it's pretty quick and easy to get these inspections as most auto mechanics are licensed to do this. Expect around $30 to $40, depending on if you have window tinting or not. After you get your vehicle inspected, you're then able to renew your registration and pay your fee and property tax bill online. The DMV will mail you a new registration card with a sticker that you'll apply to your license plate. I hope this video was helpful for you to navigate the North Carolina DMV. If you've been through the process and have any additional tips to offer, please leave a comment below for others to see. If you're considering a move to Raleigh, North Carolina, our team here at Bray Realty would love to help you. I'm Allison Wernerowski with Bray Realty, and thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video.